Okay, folks, it's Yaken here. I will be hosting this review video, okay, featuring this Realme book, all right. Yes, uh, ever since Realme announced their laptop line, yeah, it took a lot of people surprise, all right. Be it better in the uh, PC vendor market or consumer, everybody was shocked that, hey, Realme is starting to sell laptop. Yeah, even in terms of the uh, specification is being offered right now, 11 Gen, uh, Intel i3, i5 series, okay, uh, you can get with two colors here, okay, uh, the review unit here is blue color, there's another alternate color option, which is the uh, silver color, yes, so today we are going to check out whether this laptop is it really worth it okay and uh, before we're going to fully uncover it please if you're still new to the youtube channel go ahead give a subscribe follow us on our social media give a thumbs up to the content share it out drop some comments hit the notification bell and let's start all right guys so here are the specification for this device you may pause the video if you need to watch it all. So let's start off with the Realme book design, okay? Yes, uh, it has an aluminium build, okay, which looks pretty good, okay? Uh, you will definitely feel the compactness of this device here. Uh, highly recommend for people that is uh, planning to buy for their studies or perhaps work yeah because the specification is really really quite good here for work and productivity purposes gaming mm, not so but we will check it out later on okay uh and okay uh this is the uh, charging break they are providing okay so basically they provide you a 65 watt uh type c charger for the port selection on the realme boat yeah here is the trickiest thing okay so uh basically on the left side you get the uh, type c charging port and another type c port here and then you just get a uh, headphone mic combo jack a uh, normal type a port here okay yeah, basically that's all you getting for this device here now let's go to the display of this realme book so the main highlight for this device actually is the display featuring a 2k display this 14 inch display is actually using an ips panel i would generally say it's really really bright okay when you max it out uh according to realme website it says it's max brightness peak at 400 nits okay i would definitely say yeah it's really really bright usually i think you should just leave it like maybe in the uh, 20 30 percent state that's enough for you and also the display is protected with corning gorilla glass okay yeah and uh, one thing good thing with this display here by uh realme uh, it is actually 170 degrees viewing angle. Yeah, you can see it's going all the way down. So for the Realme Book Audio Department, it has two Harman speakers set up. Okay, and these speakers it has stereo surround sound by DTS. I'm gonna play clip so you can uh, check out. How is the uh, speakers and the display work? Let's go to the keyboard and the trackpad area now. So for the keyboard, I would definitely say it just provides you an average user experience okay i wouldn't say it's like very very good or very very bad if you just want to do your productivity work yeah this thing will 
works well. Partially, the layout is clean, very, very nice. The buttons are big as well. And also, the trackpad. The good thing is, it's large. It's okay-ish at most. Uh, because when you are registering the clicks on the trackpad, yeah, yeah, can you see? It's like wobbly a little bit. Yeah, so that's just some minor gripes on the trackpad. So for the performance on this Realme book, the review unit here, the i5, I would definitely say it's really, really great enough for your productivity work and also some light gaming. So there are something you also need to know. The i5 review unit here, it has Iris XE graphics, which is much better than the i3 version of the Realme book because the i3 uses the Intel UHD graphics. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys watch some gameplay. onto the battery department. Definitely, I would say the 56 watt hour battery on this Remy boat, which is also non-removable, performs just averagely, okay? Uh, charging speed, not bad because it has the uh, 65 watt charger adapter provided for you guys. Uh, if you are someone that is heavy user, I would definitely recommend you to bring your charger along. However, if you're someone maybe just using for light productivity work, yeah, I think it will definitely can last you the whole day. We need to wrap things up on this Realme book here. Okay, so in Malaysia, the device is priced like this. Okay, uh, I would definitely say that uh, if you ask me today, who should be buying this device is mostly for those who are studying and those in a you know, light work environment, okay? So if you're looking for a device that can do your productivity work, that can do your study works, yes, Realme book is for you. And if you're someone that is a little bit heavy user, I would recommend you to go for the i5 16 gigs RAM version, okay? The review unit here I'm using is actually a i5 packed with 8 gigabytes of RAM. I do feel like the performance is a little bit lacking. So if your budget permits, go for the 16 gig i5 version. And if you're on the really really tight budget then yeah go for the i3 you won't go wrong therefore i would say uh if you really want to buy right now in malaysia or price globally yeah go and grab one uh but again like i say this device is not for gaming okay don't buy for gaming buy for productivity or studies Alright, so uh, special shout out thanks to Realme Malaysia for loaning this Realme book for a couple of weeks. Uh, however, this is not a paid content. Therefore, there is no creative input, no final approval is needed by uh, Realme themselves. Uh, 
whatever being uh, commented in this video and perhaps in the article is merely based on uh, two weeks of usage okay uh, subsequent software updates might give a different experience to the users so take note on that and uh, hopefully you guys love this content and i'll see you guys on the next one